Man, it's another beautiful day here in the apocalypse. I haven't done anything. I spent all night playing uh, Helldivers, killing the bots, killing the automatons. I participated. So I'm going to uh, spend the morning organizing my inventory just a, just a little bit here. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll think about what we want to do. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Don't even look. Don't even look at it. It's bad. It's real bad. Oh gosh, it's bad. Oh man, was that bad. Holy Christ. Let's let's scope out our let's scope out our plants here. I haven't I haven't been home in a minute. Let's see what's going on. Oh, it looks like they're done. Look at this. Heck. Should have been here a little sooner, huh? I've been kind of uh putting this off for a specific reason that I'll probably gonna show you in a second here. The carrots do not stack. And yep, it looks like the old cabbages don't stack as well. So, storing these things, man, storing these things, this gonna be, <laughs> oh God. This is the, of the things with inventory Tetris, this is something I don't like. I, I hate this. Uh, this is so frustrating. This is so frustrating, it makes me not even want to bother uh, farming, if I'm being real. I'll just do carrots and just go get freaking rabbits, and I won't even bother with this stuff. Because this is just awful, you know? I'll fill up some in the freezer. Why not? May as well have some in there, huh? I just ate like six cabbages. <laughs> Holy balls. Okay, so, plan today. We've cleared this town, and we've basically cleared this town, but what I want to do is I want to go back here and just scoop it out, see if we can uh, do a little bit more clearing there. Also, I'm... Uh, actually, scratch all that. Today, we are reading the electrical book, and then we're going down there, because I'm hoping to find some more uh, electrical-type stuff to dismantle. Yep, that's that whole day gone, just like that. Good old Zomboid. Spend the whole day reading a book. Love it. Love it. I'm gonna eat a bunch of cabbages. I'm gonna crash. And then, uh, I guess we're gonna go down to that town, scope it out a little bit closer, see if we can find anything to dismantle. 5 a.m., here we go. I'm gonna eat some cabbages for breakfast. Don't know, I, man, how do you go about eating a cabbage raw? You just chomp into it, or do you like peel the layers off and eat like one layer at a time? Or are we just like going like apple mode, like just like an apple, man? We're just full bore in there, you know? Teeth and all, right? It is a cruddy day. So, Poncho, thankfully, I've got this now. Oh, is it dirty? Oh, it's covered in blood. Oh. Wow. Let's, uh, let's, let's wash it. Here we go. There we go. All clean. All clean. All right, let's make our way down to that town down there. I've got food in the form of cabbages, and I've got water. And we've got our truck here, so... Yeah, let's head down. We are after uh, electronic skill level. I think I left a few things in that uh, electronic store, too, that I didn't dismantle. We'll stop there on the way back. I believe it was this one right here. I believe this is what we are after. Got a flashlight too, so I don't know where the light. Yeah. This in here. Now this is watches, I think it was. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go through all these and dismantle them. And uh, everything I pick up, I am unless I level up, uh, I am just going to throw on the ground because I've got... I've got a lot of this stuff in the base and I don't need it. If I level up right now, I'll use it to fix the truck, but yeah, I've got so much of this stuff, man. Okay, we did not level up. We got uh, 580. Yeah, we got 580. Not too great. Not too great. Uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this stuff on the ground. Oh my goodness, this is... This is just a lot of stuff. Got all these cabbage seeds too. Oh gosh. Oh geez. Got all these cabbages too. Oh geez. Oh gosh. This is bad. All right. Let's make our way down to that town. Down to that town and 
I need that ice freezer. Yeah, I'm just giving up on uh, farming, I think. Farming is just too frustrating with inventory Tetris. I think I'm just gonna fish. And uh, I might keep I might keep carrots just to catch some rabbits, because rabbits and fish are great, you know? But otherwise I think that's I think that's the end of our farming career. Just been gnawing on these cabbages as we uh, close in on the town here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, why not? I'm gonna be blowing through a lot of calories today, potentially. Depends how many zombies are down here. There's a lot of zombies down here, man. We might be blowing through some calories. Depends how much killing we gotta do, you know? Depends how much uh, swinging of this here machete we gotta do. It's been a very frustrating drive down here. This idea that uh, I want to kill all the zombies on the road is great, but man, man, it was just nothing but stop every 40 feet because there's one zombie. They're probably all the ones out in the woods. You know what we should do? Fix the light bar and then drive up here slowly and I'll just have the siren blaring the whole time, you know what I'm saying? And we'll see how many of them come out that time. Yeah, I never checked the corners on these homes, so I don't know if there's a pack of zombies hiding somewhere in here when I was blaring the siren, so I'm just gonna just take a look here. I think, oh, I just lagged a little bit there. Just lagged just a smidge there. Yeah, I can't get through here, I remember this. Not seeing any zombies though, just a couple here and there. Not a big old group like I thought there might be. Which is interesting. This is where we uh, committed mass murder. Laundromat's a great place for metalworking. Have I read the metalworking book? I have not, but that is a great place for metalworking. Okay, there's a gas station here. I'm gonna head over here and let's dismantle these. These give pretty good XP, these here. Okay, let's sneak down that road down here. Uh, where these, these couple of zombies are hanging out. This is where we did the majority of our fighting. What I want to see is if there's any zombies trapped. I don't think there are because we fought in a sort of peculiar... What does he have inside of him? I've not seen that before. It was orange, hand, orange handled. Camping knife. Uh, we, we're running machete. Camping knife, camping knife, camping knife. I've got a knife on me. What knife do I- Oh, I have a camping knife on me. Is it orange? Oh, it's hidden. Yeah, it is orange. Look at that. I'm just a dummy. Hello? No. And no. Okay. No one's here. Just gonna check this one real quick, and then we will be on our way. We'll be on our way. We just need to verify that there's no sneaky, sneaky zombies hanging. Nope, didn't look like it. All right. So, as far as locating uh, electrical goods, I need a pretty decent amount of electrical skill. And we weren't getting a lot from dismantling that stuff. I'm just going to scope out these. There's factories here. I don't know what's in these here factories. I would like to check it out. Since there's a, brew, a distillery van there, that might be a uh, alcohol place. We don't care about that one, if that's true. Take the old poncho off. Let's unequip this. And throw down a cabbage. Why not? Let's head inside. See what's going on in here. Hello? Oh, there's quite a few of you in here. What's up? What's up, guys? What you doing in there? You didn't hear my siren earlier? Look at that girl. That one's got a garden fork stuck in her. Come on out here. Come on. Come on. I need all of you to come out here so I can say hi all proper like. Man, these zombies, man. There's an open window and two open doors, and these idiots choose all the ones that are closed. Come on. I'm just gonna go in. Look, there's one banging on the- what, what are you doing? Lady? What are you doing? Jeez. Jeez. Oh, this is busted. Ooh, curious. 
Hello? No? Oh, got a shower back here. Anyone in here? No? No? I think you picked these up. Yeah. If you're ever looking to uh, build your own home or... Our, I like to put them in the RV interiors. So that at least you have a shower, you know? At least you have one. I basically just shower in our sink. So this is a regular warehouse by the looks, because I'm just getting typical, typical stuff you find in a warehouse. A uh, lot of nails. It's a fire axe. My current axe is over at the other base. I wonder if I should grab that and just throw it in. Uh, throw it in the truck with the other, with the other tools. No electronics though. What do we got here? Oh, this is open. Hey guys. This looks like... Oh, what, do we, what do we got going on in here? This is an electronics warehouse. Please. <laughs> well, there is a uh, premium radio there, but... Wow, I found a lot of radios. What's going on in here? This place has a lot of radios. Why are you guys holding so many radios? Oops, scissors. We need those. We found out we can't, <laughs> can't do it. Although, uh, I can't remember your name, but someone did some testing as well on that. And uh, it was something about keeping the item inside my bag. I haven't looked to see if I had the item in the bag or if I had the item in my main hand. But the idea is that if the scissors were in the bag, it ate them or something. Something along those lines. Is that a flute? No, that's a saw. Oh, I see. <laughs> is that a flute? Is that a flute? They really just say, is that a flute? Christ. Christ. All right, nothing here, man. This is this is all junk. Big old truck here. These are okay. They've got pretty good carry weight, I think. Is this one I can't see? I gotta open. Yeah. Nope, 102. Maybe it's broken. I thought one of these had good carry weight. Trunk, 74%? No, this thing's garbage. Don't ever get in that vehicle. Unless you're RPing, I guess. I'm gonna have better luck going home to home to home. I'm just wasting my time up here. I'm just gonna do that. Let's just go down here. Let's scope out these houses. I'll do like I did up in the uh, northern section of Clear Cove. I'm just gonna run from home to home to home. And, uh... We're just going to dismantle lamps and TVs and radios. It's not a great way to go about it, but hey, hey, there's a guy in there. Look at that. Let me in. Let me in. Come on. Open. Oh, yeah. Come on. Let me in. There we go. Him. His TV dismantle. This one's going to be a little bit more dangerous, though. I'm... I thought... I wonder if I've updated. No, I did. I had to update my game. You know what? That's the issue. I recently had to update my game. I had to verify the files. When you verify the files, you remove uh, mods that require you to edit game files. One of those was to spawn zombies into buildings before uh, you go into them. So I guess the way it works is as we are kind of working our way through the world, uh, a building's zombies won't necessarily be spawned unless you go in the building but this mod makes it so that uh, you as you're kind of going around they're spawned in which makes it a little bit more realistic a little bit more uh diff oh that is just perfect check that out you think any are going to show up i don't know but i'm gonna eat their chips these are my chips now oh there's one Fix a flat. We'll take that. Oh, our inventory is just full. All right. We need to empty that bad boy. This is getting frustrating doing this all the time. Seem to have lost my screwdriver. I think uh, inventory Tetris is freaking out because it, my inventory is so full right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw all this crud on the ground. Because uh, it, it said I lost my screwdriver. I don't know where it is. I really hope it's not gone, gone, because that would be <laughs> that'd be annoying. But that's what seems to happen if you're 
inventory Tetris is going wrong or something, you know, it just kind of seems to steal everything and throw it out. Yep. It is gone. My screwdriver is now gone. Son of a gun. This god dang game, man. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay. Gosh, I thought I lost it. That's where I threw it on the ground. All right. I hope that's where I threw it on the ground. That might be mine. It might not be mine. It might be someone else's. Got a lamp here. We had XP wise. We even gonna make it? Yeah, I think we might make it. We need 500 more. I'm gonna just keep going. Just keep doing it. You know, home, home to home to home here. See how we do. Hey, you guys wanna go ahead and get away from my car, please? Thanks. Might might just shut this off before we get to work. I like leaving the truck on all the time. Quite a few zombies showed up, huh? I like leaving it on all the time because uh, you got an out, you know. Anytime you're you're out running around, man, and you're fighting zombies. Oh, look, at, here's a trail of zombies right there. And over there. Wowee. But yeah, if the truck's on, you don't have to worry about starting it. But the way this game works, man, some of these vehicles, well, most of them, will almost never start first try. Almost never start first try. Unless you got super lucky. So it's nice to just have that bad boy on all the time. You just take off, man. Don't gotta worry about nothing, right? Knock, knock. Glenn's here. Get wet again. Gonna uh, put on my poncho. There we go. That's better. Okay, that's one street down. Need to hop the fence and head over to this other street up here. I'll just leave the truck where it is. We're getting sleepy, so I don't want to do any big old fights. Hey, fellas. I don't have my machete out. Number one rule in Zomboid. Generally speaking, don't ever hop a large fence when you don't know what's on the other side. In fact, probably don't ever hop one. You'll hop right into zombies. Right into their waiting arms. Oh, we got it. We got it. Let's get the heck out of here. Got a few friends here and there. Doc? No? Oh, you were a doctor. You were wearing a white coat. You know, uh... The new Walking Dead came out. Didn't didn't they they have like some reboots and like I don't know, like some new new like series episodes, right? Like Rick is back and all that stuff. What's going on with all that? I don't, I don't keep up. I lost a bit of interest in uh Walking Dead. A little bit too much silliness in my opinion. Ooh, god. Whoa. Look at that. Is this from that house alarm? All these zombies grouped up? Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Oh, oh it's jammed. I thought it was uh, empty. Whoops. Ooh, I think I'm out of, uh, unboxed ammo. Cause she, or he didn't, uh, he didn't load it fully. I have to machete these or bust out the shotgun. I'd rather not bust out the shotgun on these little, little itty bitty baby groups though. Shotgun is for the big daddy groups. The big mama groups, if you will. Come on to me, zombies. I've got... Still got some fight in me. Heck, I thought they were far less zombies than this. I think the uh maintenance scale. Yes. I think the pull range from that uh, house alarm is ten times the size of ten times the size of our uh, car alarm, huh? 
Look at all these zombies. We fought through here. We had that siren blaring. Just a blaring for a long time. Nothing. Just nothing. No. Did I drop my screwdriver? No, it's right there. Oh, man. I was about to be so mad. I was about to be so goddamn mad. Okay. I don't think it likes my screwdriver being in my backpack. So let's put it there. Try it again. Repair. Was it eating? I figure what it's taking. Oh, it's taking a light bulb? Oh, it wants amplifiers and stuff? 5%? Are you serious? 5%? Holy crap. Okay, alright then. Well, good thing I know where there's a lot of stuff on the ground over by, uh, uh over in that uh, electronics store. We left a bunch of stuff just on the ground. Man, I didn't know I was going to need, uh, just a ton. And, uh, we need- what did we need? What did it say? Amplifier? Did I read that right? Wait, is that another group of zombies? What are y'all doing? Man, I need to get back home, but... Can't have these guys grouping up. Probably- what they probably want me to do is... Raise my electrical even further, you know? Because if my electrical is even higher, it probably does. It's probably like uh, repairing the engine, right? I think uh, when you get a little bit higher, it, it, every engine part restores a little bit more percent. And I think you get more parts back when you take it out of an engine. It's probably the same system just applied to the light bar. If I was like, for example, level 6, maybe it's 6% every time or something like that. Okay, I don't know what I initially read I, I, I might be losing my mind I don't know what I initially read I thought it wanted like amplifiers and light bulbs and all kinds of stuff maybe it did because it was a zero but at the moment all it wants is electrical wire and scrap electronics which makes this process far easier to do uh, I mean I've got a bunch of electrical wire at home but I've also got you know just just tons of this stuff everywhere I mean I, I can we could just load up on this, and I got more at home, too. That one went to 20. Oh, now we're out of wire. Did I miss see that? Did I just jump 10%? I'm, I'm seeing... I think I'm seeing things, man. I have more electrical wire at home. I, I know that for sure. It's late anyways. We gotta go to sleep. Sometimes I wonder when I'm doing these series Zomboid games, if I should just disable sleep. And then, every time I go home at night, I just use that time to read books. It does sort of feel like we're just blowing a majority of our time on uh, just just reading books, skill grinding, etc. I know people absolutely love to watch you grind out some skills in Zomboid and read books. Oh, we've never checked this. Let's check one of these. I want to see if these stack. Do they stack? Where'd they go? Where'd they go? See them anywhere? Two. I've got a... St nope. Five and two. So they stack to five. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's, uh... Let's grab some. We'll throw them in the freezer. Yeah, we'll throw these in the freezer. Let's bring the truck a little closer, actually. I don't, I don't want it out here. Well, I guess it's fine where it is. Time for bath. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, so here's our supply of electrical wire. I've been keeping it. Don't ask why. I don't actually know. I'm gonna just throw this stack of electrical wire at it real quick and then uh, we'll call it a night, I think. There we go. 25 to 30. So what's it using? Using one stack each time? Did it just... What's, what's going on here? It's gotta be Tetris. Inventory Tetris is just freaking out. Or did I fail? Did I fail at the repair? I don't think so. But I, th I feel like it just used my electronics. Well, I've got some more in here, thankfully. I've been stockpiling a lot of nonsense. We'll try again. Let's see again. We'll go on the side here. Hit the old repair button. It's using four this time. 
Now we're out of wire. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Uh, what's going on? Am I losing my mind? I'm losing my mind, right? I had five wire. What, did I repair it one time? Okay, one more. I'm going to use you one more. Got a stack of five right here, bringing this bad boy in. I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like the game's messing. I know it's 1 a.m., but... I feel like the game's messing with me. All right, repair. Oh, wait, it went up. Now it says it requires eight and two. And that time it repaired 10, 10%. Is it, oh, is it a smart recipe, I wonder? No? What is going on? It just randomly swapped. There. Okay. I've got the stuff. Bam. It used it. Nothing happened. Is it actually using my stuff? Or is it in something funky going on, man? I don't know. Something funky going on there. If you know what's going on, let me know. There's something funky going on. I'm going to sleep, man. That thing's haunted. Haunted.